Hey guys, it's Cubix, and today I have a very fast tutorial for a different OLL method. Um, I don't have a name for it, but it might actually be out there because I think that this has already been documented before. Uh, I was just too ignorant to actually find it. But either way, I did find this myself through trial and error, and I want to share it with you. Um, this method uses only one algorithm, the soon, and its variations, so fat soon. Um, the left-handed version of soon and the left-handed version of fat soon, but they're really all the same thing, so it's really easy to learn, and uh, it should only take you about 10 minutes. And what's great about this is that if you're a beginner solver and you just want to get a little bit faster, but you're not really serious about speed cubing, then this is for you. Um, this particular method orients all the edges so that the top color is all the same. In this case, I will be using yellow. Um, if you are an intermediate cuber, um, who uses two look OLL, this is really good because it provides a different way of edge orientation um, initially to get the cross so you don't have to do F sexy move, F prime, you can actually just do fat soon. Um, either way, uh, it's a fairly viable method. At the very end of the video I will do two time solves and you'll see that the times are actually pretty good. Um, they're not edited or anything, I literally did two solves and I kept both of them. Um, one of them's 18 seconds and the other's 19. Um, so obviously it is a little bit slower than full OLL. Uh, so if you're planning to learn full OLL, go ahead and do that. Um, but if you're a beginner and you just want something a little bit faster, then this is for you. So um, first I'm just going to explain what it is intuitively. And after that, um, if you still don't get it, um, and you need it to be explained more explicitly, then go ahead and watch my example solves. So although this video is fairly long, keep in mind that the actual tutorial is very, very short. So uh, first of all, let's just go through the algorithms. I'm only going to go over the right-hand ones because the left-hand ones are the same. They're just obviously for your left hand. Um, and you don't even need to know left-handed fat soon. Um, that's really just something if you want to know. Uh, the ones you need to know are soon, um, left-handed soon, and right-handed fat soon. So first, let's just start with soon. So what soon is, is it's a regular OLL um, where you have all the edges fixed and you have one corner piece uh, that's already uh, oriented correctly. And it, what you'll realize is it looks like a fish. And um, if you have this fish, you want to make sure that, the, uh, that this yellow piece is facing you and therefore the head is facing to the left. Um, and to solve this, what you have to do is R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Very, very simple. Um, the sticker could very well be on the left of the head, um, and this is a left-hand version. I won't go over it, but just know that's the same thing as the right-hand version. Um, well, I suppose I'll tell you the algorithm uh, up here. and uh, that solves it as well. So this is what soon actually does. So for all you intuitive people, um, you'll want to listen to this. So what soon actually does is it doesn't only flip the corners. Um, eventually that's what you want to use it for, but before that it's very possible you want it to actually permute the edges. So permutation is where you actually switch the position of the edges and so it doesn't flip the orientation so it wouldn't make yellow be on the front face if it were uh, on the top before, uh, but what it does is it actually changes the position of two adjacent edges. So the best way to explain that is if um, I just show you a case. Um, so if you have a bar here, um, it switches two adjacent ones, so it doesn't really matter how I hold it. Um, either way, when I apply soon, I'm going to have um, two of them um, correctly oriented and the other two are going to be flipped. So keep in mind, um, it's the, it's going to be the same two that are oriented. They're just permuted into different spots. So if I do soon, uh, notice how it's the yellow blue and yellow orange. Um, if I do soon, um, it's still the yellow blue and the yellow orange, but of course they've switched relative positions, and that's what you want. Um, because at this point, you use the second algorithm, which is fat soon. Fat soon is uh, the same thing as soon, um, but of course you use both uh, layers and you bring them down at the very end. So uh, you bring up two layers, two regular soon, and 
at the very end, bring down both. And you don't need to know the left handed version of Fatsune um, at all. So, what Fatsune actually does is, uh, this is a different OLL case than we had before, but it's the same principle. So you have still this L shape, and what you want to do is, um, you want to flip the other two edges. And Fatsune does exactly that. It flips to adjacent edges, so in this case these two. Um, so after doing Fatsune, we should expect a full yellow cross. Um, it also affects the corners, but for the purposes of this method, you don't need to know that. Um, uh, so Fatsune... And uh, we have two flip corners. So these two are incorrect. And so that's what fat soon does. Um, it's used for edge or uh, yeah, edge orientation. And um, regular soon is for corner orientation. As well as permutation in some cases. So um, at this point, I think that's all you need to know actually to do this method. Um, if you're intuitive and you followed what I just said there, then that is literally all you need to know. And... Um, you're on your way to solving um, the entire uh, rest of the cube. So uh, from here on out I'm going to be doing walkthrough solves of the last layer and I'm just going to tell you um, how you would do it. So uh, the rest is really for beginners uh, or people who don't understand this. Um, if you want to do it intuitively stop the video now because the tutorial has officially ended. Um, so if you want to see example solves follow the annotation to watch those uh, just to convince yourself that it is actually pretty fast. Um, at its worst case, you will have to apply either soon or fat soon four times, and since each of those take around 0.7 seconds, you're looking at less than three seconds for the worst OLL case. Uh, so that's actually really, really fast, especially if you're a beginner. So three seconds, done. Um, so uh, thanks for watching the tor tutorial, guys, and uh, the rest of it will be walkthroughs. See ya. So for this first OLL case, uh, we have the J, or the L, depending on how you hold it. And based on what I told you before, since it flips to adjacent edges, um, you do actually want to hold it in this position so that it flips these two. And again, don't worry about the corners. Uh, you just want the cross first. So fat soon will flip all of these. And what you have to do now is you have to apply soon to fill in the rest of the corners. Um, I told you before that it actually flips three corners um, and so notice in this case uh, what you can do is you can just do soon and that will flip three corners. Not necessarily to the top but it does actually flip the three corners. Um, specifically in this case what you actually want to do is you want to hold it so that headlights are on either side of the cube and do soon this way. And just a note, there are seven cases where the edges are already flipped, so if you know Tulik OLL, then you know how to do it from here. Um, if not, you can actually do it using only soon, and what you have to do is follow uh, the directions in a video. Um, the, that video will be in the description below, and it just goes over how to flip these um, edges uh, in different cases. So in this case in particular, what you want to do is soon to get a soon and then do it again to solve the entire face. So as you can see uh, the algorithm is really fast and you can rip through it pretty quickly. So why don't we go to the second scramble. Okay so here is the second case where you have a bar. Now I told you that fat soon flipped two adjacent edges so what can you expect if you do fat soon here? Well you'll be flipping this one and you'll be flipping this one. So this will be incorrect and this will be correct. However, what I didn't tell you is that Fatsune also shifts the edges. So um, what's going to happen is that if you do Fatsune, you're still going to get a bar. Um, as you can see, the corners did flip, but again, we don't worry about the corners. So uh, what happened was essentially nothing. The edges are still incorrect and you still have an issue. You can do Fatsune a hundred times, a billion times, and nothing will happen. You can even turn the top face, but again, nothing will happen, so what you have to do is you have to use regular soon. And I told you that regular soon shifts the positions of the edges, so essentially if you do soon, you should expect an L shape after applying it. So if I do soon, there you go, you have a case that you already know. Um, so if you have the L, you can apply fat soon 
to get the rest of the edges. And then from here, you just use soon, twice, um, to get the rest of the corners flipped. So in this case, you want uh, to hold it this way, soon once, and uh, left-handed version of the soon. Um, what I did there was I just uh, did it from a different angle, but it's just left-handed soon um, to solve this. And so finally, let's just go to the third case. So the third case is where you have no edges correctly placed. And to do this, um, again, these two are not flipped correctly, so you use fat soon because they're adjacent and they're incorrect. So if you use fat soon, you should expect an L shape. And we actually do have an L shape right there. And uh, from here, it's just a case you already know. You just put it in this position and you do fat soon to get the edges. And from here, you just do regular soon and regular soon again. So that was the worst case scenario, and um, it was still very, very fast. So that's actually all you need to know. Two algorithms, very, very easy, soon and fat soon. And remember, fat soon is just soon with an extra middle layer. So with that, guys, uh, the rest of the video will be two solves um, that pretty much explain how awesome this is. Um, it's so easy, and um, if there's a name for this, please tell me down below what it's called because I don't know. And... Um, Otherwise, I'm just going to call it the soon variant. I can't call it soon OLL because that's actually something that exists. So I hope at this point it's pretty obvious that this is a fairly fast method. Uh, the first level was 18.52 and the second was a 19.38. Um, neither were amazing, but they were both sub-20. Um, and so if that is your goal, uh, you can actually definitely do it using only two algorithms. So in fact, this is a very easy method. It's very viable. And if you're not a serious speed cuber, but just want something that's fast and easy, this is the way to go because it's literally one algorithm just repeated uh, in different ways. And so again, the video for the seven different cases are down below. Again, you're only using soon over and over again. It's just the way you apply it. And if you are an intuitive learner, keep in mind that regular soon basically flips the corners, but also shifts the edges. So uh, in the first step, when you're doing edge orientation, you use soon to shift it first, and then fat soon uh, to finish it off, because fat soon actually flips the edges. So that's basically what you have to keep in mind. And aside from that, this is a very easy OLL method, and if you have a name for it, uh, tell me in the description below. I have a feeling that it has been documented before, and I was just too ignorant to actually find it. So if that's the case, please tell me nicely, and uh, have a great day, guys. Until next time, toodles.